Hello everyone and welcome again to my YouTube channel and welcome to another NVFX uh, video and just a follow-up review on a review I made about what two three months ago three months ago I think yeah two months ago um, 21st of July so yeah guys um, it's, it's just something that I that I'm gonna mention um, as you guys know uh, that you know it was NVFX it was doing great um, automated capital was doing great. Um, you know, they pay them account and then boom, it just dropped like literally in the last few days crashed. Now, my take on this is they didn't put any stop losses, which is, I mean, guys, you can't, you can't trade without stop losses, especially, you know, like <laughs> understand, look, if you're trading high risk with your own account, hundred dollars or something, sure. You know, um, you know, just a hundred dollars or whatever, and you want to trade big lot sizes, and you don't care about blowing the account. Fine, go for it. Right, don't put stop losses. I would still say, you know, try and build up that hundred dollar account by trading properly. You know, learn how to trade properly. But um, yeah, this is just for me. This is unacceptable, um, especially if you're trading with so many people's money. I mean, like as you can see, the the deposit here is almost eighteen million dollars. 18 million dollars into this PAM account and yeah then this happens um, so, so again they were doing great and this is I'm gonna go back to something I mentioned on the previous video and um, by the way this is a new MyFX book account but I'm gonna get to that uh, my, a new MyFX book account of theirs um, so it's just weird how okay they were doing 2.38 2.44 uh, 2.24 9.15 that's good I mean, anything above 10% is really, really, really good, guys, in a month. Seriously, if you can compound that over a few years, that's really good. But then suddenly they shot up. And this just gives you an indication is, um, you know, like 57%, 49% gives you an indication that, that they were trading high risk, big lot sizes. Which, usually in the long term, you get snagged up somewhere. It's, um, it's hard to sustain this in trading. Right, I've I've doubled my my trading accounts in the past um, in a day. Right, I've done that, but then I ended up blowing my accounts. Why? Because they didn't put stop losses, didn't have any risk management in place, wasn't patient, got greedy. Ave eventually, it bites you in the in the in the ass, guys. The forex markets are not your friend. You have to respect it. And these guys, well, clearly, um, didn't pay the, the markets any respect. Um, and this is what happened. You know, on Wednesday, guys, was an, a big event called NFP. So just Google it, NFP. And um, basically, it's it's a big it's big trading news, and there's a lot that happens on the markets. And I'll show you as well on a, on a chart what exactly happened there. Now, what these guys are doing is they're blaming it on on NFP, right? It's oh, it was NFP, and oh, it's just um, you know very high volatility in the markets right now, market manipulation, da 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 da, da right? They're blaming it on that, and they they're saying that's the reason for this massive drawdown, almost 68 percent drawdown. But that's still unacceptable for me because where were their stop losses? They should have just put, I mean, maximum drawdown shouldn't have been more than 10%, even 5%, guys. Even if you're trading high risk, then, because I saw in one day they made like 13% or something, right? So, so then they should have just, it should have hit stop losses for the day, 5%, 10% stop loss. They should have told everyone, listen, guys, we had a losing day, but we're still up for the month, right? We had other good days, it's fine. We'll live to trade another day. You know, that's what a stop loss does for you. That's why you need to put stop losses as part of risk management. If you don't have risk management in trading, you're going to end up losing it all. all right. So anyways, um, let me just go back to my video. And this is something I mentioned and I mentioned here. You guys can go back to this. And, you know, I talk about them being unregulated and offshore. And I guess I was a little bit hard on them because, you know, for being offshore and unregulated okay they are a new broker as well but i know for u.s citizens it's basically you kind of have to use a unregulated and offshore broker because of the sec and the cftc uh, bogus regulations i mean it's really stupid how hard they make it for forex brokers to get regulated and licensed in the u.s and then they have so many even if you do get regulated and licensed in the u.s as a forex broker there's so many loopholes that you have to go through and it's just it's just a nightmare so that's why, especially guys from the US are using offshore and unregulated brokers. I don't, have, I don't have a problem with unregulated and offshore brokers per se, as long as long as as they, you know, have the people's best intentions in mind, as long as they have a decent track record, 
Um, because not all of them are bad. A lot of them are. I, I mean, preferably you'd want to be trade with a regulated and licensed broker, you know, that's at least licensed and regulated in a respectable country, you know, but otherwise, you know, if you can't do otherwise, like if you're a US citizen, then yeah. So I understand that guys before, you know, people comment again, oh, well, you know, about the, that I'm bashing unlicensed and unregulated brokers. I'm not just some of them are bad. Um, or just unethical, in a sense. Like, like, this is what I'm going to mention, guys, is, so this was, this was a few, um, so obviously this was my review a few months ago, right, and this was super dodgy, guys, because what they did here is, this was their old MyFX book account, they removed this, you can't find this, it's my, it's like a MyFX book account called NVFX Gearbox or something, you can't find it anymore, so, Obviously, and, and you know, you know, they removed it, I don't know, a few days or a few weeks after I made this review. So they probably saw this review. They saw what I mentioned. This, because I mentioned, yeah, you know, I'm fine with all these results. All these, you know, 56%, 72% up. But what happens if we have a month like this again, right? And this is exactly what happened. Because again, these guys are trading high risk, no stop losses, which is, again, guys, I'm, I'm not going to be, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and be respectful here, but but that's just stupid. I mean, for a professional trader, not to trade with any professional trader will tell you risk. You have to have, it's fine to trade high risk, but you still have to have some risk management in place, stop losses in place, especially if you're trading other people's money, right? This isn't your own account you're trading with. So, um, all right. Anyways, guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, are, um, so this is all good. It's all good guys. Um, I mean, but, but for me, you know, there's re these returns, but for me, like, um, you know, anyone can, can even double their account in a day, get lucky, you know, and maybe the, the, it goes in their direction. It just comes down to what lot size you're putting in, but can you sustain that? No, it will, again, it will end up blowing up in your face because the Forex markets don't always go as you think they will. Most of the time you get it wrong, right? Um, so at the end of the day, that's why risk management comes into play to be profitable, even with the losses, you know, in the long term to compound in the long term. But anyways, guys, yeah, again, so this was super dodgy. Why did they remove this? And and you could still, if you still note, one thing that I want you guys to notice, you can still see all the trades that they took, right? Yeah, you can see all the trades that they took. Um, okay, yeah, they had stop losses in place. Because again, like, there's no way, it was 68% drawdown that, that they put a stop loss this time, right? And it was 76% drawdown in, in, um, in the past there. Right, so, so yeah, you could also see all the trades, and you'll see now the point I'm going to make here, guys, is there was some level of transparency there. Here's also, I guess, some transparency, right? Right, the at least they're showing you the losses, but the fact that they removed that other account is really dodgy to me, right? Like, what are they trying to hide? Um, so here we have another problem. So open trades are private, open orders, history. Now, suddenly with this new MyFX book account of this, you, you, can't, um, you, you, you can't view the trades they're doing. So, so that, that's a big, you know, that's a big problem for me because obviously, you know, you want to see what these guys are doing. You know, you want transparency. Whenever you put your money into something, you want the most transparency possible, guys. You want to, I mean, really. You don't just want to give your money to someone and 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 you know uh, hope hope that they that you can trust them with your money. It's uh, you know there's a lot of shady characters online, guys. So so yeah. Firstly, what I'm going to say is I don't think um, my FX book. I don't think there is. Uh, sorry, my FX book. <laughs> NVFX automated capital. I don't think there is scam. Before you guys say, "Whoa, do you think it's a scam?" No, I don't. Um, I don't think it's a scam per se right um ponzi scheme well no because if it was a ponzi scheme it would be a scam because you know at least they sort of i mean they're showing their their losses as well as their their wins um i mean usually ponzi schemes they they have a tendency of not showing their losses they just like it literally um yeah it just it's just uh, they give you like a fixed percentage there's no transparency of any trades going on things like that but even so, I mean, like, I could, I could st still be wrong. Maybe, maybe this is a Ponzi scheme. Maybe they just, 
st uh, still showing the losses just to try and make make it look more legit. I don't know. I don't know. But if it if it's legit, right, then um, then it's still like you know, it's still un unethical to to remove one MyFX book, right, and then to create a new one and to see him because obviously now the new people are seeing this and they're saying, oh, okay, they had no losing months, right? Because obviously, yeah, because they didn't see the old my MyFX book account, right? They didn't see that 76% drawdown. So, so what's going to happen now? You know, luckily this is still up. So are they going to remove this one and just create a new one? And so all the, the new guys coming in don't know about this. Um, I don't know. Because that's kind of what they did in the past, right? Remove the old one, made a new MyFix book and say, hey guys, no, look look how well we're doing. So that's unethical. Even if there's, like, even if it's not a scam, it's if it's legit, this is, it's, it's simply a, a legitimate um, platform that's unethical, right? That you still don't want to join. Because, I mean, one day, you, like, it's all good making money, and then one day it's just most of it's gone in any case. Then you, then not only are your gains gone, but, I mean, your, your initial investment is at a loss. So, but I'm also going to mention something, guys, and, again, I can't show any proof of that yet, but um, if it was a, if it is a Ponzi scheme, if it is a scam, so this is only possible possible um what, what what can happen right is what some guys did and, and what another platform called fep trade did in the past is that ended up being a, a really well thought out scam but anyways what they did was um they got whitelisted on my fx book so basically how it works is you pay four thousand dollars a month and um and you can basically manipulate the results on my fx book but but there's there's the only way you can do that is if you own the broker Right, and obviously, if you pay four thousand dollars every month, then you can put demo account results on there. You can put whatever results you want on on my FX book in that case, right? So, don't know if if NVFX did that. I don't have any evidence of that. So, you know, so just for now, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and that they're really doing real trading. It's just again stupid trading, um, trading high risk with no risk management in place. Um, I mean, people are saying they're working out a plan now, but where was, um, I mean, yeah, it, it's like, it's not, the, the thing is, right, it's not the first time this has happened. It's not the first time. Like, I just sh showed you guys, and then and then they have the audacity to remove this account. This, you'll, you won't find this this MyFX book account anywhere. So, again, luckily, I still have, it's still on my video and that, so, um, hmm. So, yeah, you know, as I mentioned here, yeah, the system NVFX gearbox. Now, this specific, you'll see a few gearboxes on, but it's, I don't know, uh, some other guys, my Facebook accounts, it doesn't belong to NVFX. Like this, like it's not this, the specific one that I'm mentioning, which they had before, uh, geez, bef before this automated capital one. Right? So, I mentioned that there. So, yeah, guys, I mean, even if they keep going, um, I'm just wondering now what they're going to do from here. Because if they're going to put like some stop losses, if they're going to like at say 10% uh, drawdown or something, like, yeah, because this is not, not smart trading. This is not good trading with it. Again, guys, I know some of you are going to comment below like, like, oh, but it's high risk and it's this and it's that. Guys, even if it's high risk, um, you know, it's not to say, okay, now you need to blow the whole account or you need to have a 68% drawdown. You can still trade high risk, but you can say risk like, say, 5%, maybe maximum 10%. Like, that's and that, that's being kind, guys. I don't even think I would risk more than 5% on a trade. It's just too much. If you ask any professional trader, they'll usually say you, you never risk more than one to three percent of your capital per trade. So let's just let's just say for this, if you're trading super super high risk, risk like ten percent uh, to make thirty percent or something like that, or ten percent to make twenty at least twenty double because you're risking a lot, right? So yeah, I mean, and if you hit a stop loss, you hit a stop loss. You tell people, okay, this is trading. We had a losing day. Carry on, right? So. Yeah, just to have this, uh, like, just to build people up, just to build people's accounts up, and then just ultimately, ultimately to break them down at the end of the day, it's unacceptable. It's really unacceptable. I mean, look at this loss. 
pro profit difference minus 10 10 million dollars like if you if some of you find this acceptable i don't this is not how you trade this is how i traded when i started trading and i blew accounts you can't trade without any risk management but again i already already mentioned that so yeah guys um that's my take on nvfx um don't know if you guys can still withdraw your money, uh, get it out or whatever, or if you still, I mean, you could carry on with it, but that, that's at your own risk. I mean, because these guys clearly have shown that this is the second time that they've done this. They've built it up. They've impressed everyone with their high, with their high months, which again, was it didn't impress me because I know it. you can easily make high returns in a day. And, um, and then they do this. So, so yeah, guys, again, what impresses me is consistency over months and months and years and years, right? Um, especially for people, for people with like big, um, account with big amounts to invest, like say $10,000 or more, um, you, you, you know, if you, you don't want to risk a lot of money with, with, with something like this, I mean, sure, you might make a, you might make a quick buck and you might, you know, but then, but then just to lose it all at the end of the day, I mean, just like, it's not worth it for me personally. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how you guys operate, but again, I'm going to tell you this. Again, this is not how this is not how you trade the forex markets. This is not, and I'm not even a professional trader, guys. But but for me, as like, like just your average trader to to basically <laughs> to point out the basics, put a stop loss, uh, have risk management. I mean, just shows you, just shows you these guys really screwed up here, like really big time. Because if they claim to be professional traders, I'm telling you, it's, <laughs> they 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 should, it's yeah, they they should. Uh, I, th I think it's it's a false claim because I mean a professional trader won't won't trade like this not not a chance not a chance so yeah guys and again I'm trying to be respectful I'm trying to trying to be unbiased as well but this is just for me it's unacceptable it's just amateur this is amateur hour right here amateur hour like this is literally how you trade with a, with your own account like a hundred dollars or something and it's like okay yeah I want to quick make a quick buck and I'll see if I want to double can double this hundred dollar account in a day you know. But you don't trade like that with with this with other people's money and with 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 so much money, not a, with such a big account. You don't have to trade like this with with so much money. Anyways, guys, so um, don't know what what your plan is moving forward from here. Um, like like I've got a platform which is really solid. So I don't know if you you can if you don't want to hear about it, you can uh, stop watching this video right now. But what I do is is obviously also. So also this, but it's not a Pam account, guys. You don't have to send your money to one specific broker, and especially a dodgy-ish broker like NVFX. Like they're okay, but I don't know. Compared to other brokers, they're pretty dodgy to me. Um, you know, just my opinion, guys. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to say is, oh yeah, I just wanted to quickly show. You, I almost forgot. So this is what happened, guys. This was carnage on the markets, and you. It, Obviously, yeah, no one expected this. Well, some did actually with NFP, but not this. This way, look how GBP USD just crashed. This is and it's say this is like a thousand pip move, thousand pips, guys, in literally I don't know a few days. This is the lowest GBP USD's ever been. Even Euro USD, if you look at that, it's never been never been this low. But you can't blame. You you can't blame it the fact that that you you know. You have a 68% drawdown. You can't blame that on the markets. I'm sorry, because that means that you didn't have stop losses in place um, in case something goes wrong. And you know, it just shows that you don't really know what you're doing and you don't know, know how to trade. Like because you always you you again you the markets are not your friend, and you always got to be prepared for the worst as well as the best, right? So that makes sense. So yeah, again, amateur hour right here. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'll, let me just quickly share with you what I'm doing. So I'm just going to compare a few um, from the bot like um, that I'm using. Um, a lot, a lot lower risk, um, like lower returns, but way more consistent. I mean, you will never get a 68% drawdown. So this is a guy in my team. Um, he made like over 20% in in a month, just over a month. And here you can see full transparency. You can see all the trades. And the big thing here, guys, is again, what I mentioned is you don't need to send your money to one broker because I know with NVFX, if you want to be a part of automated capital, you need to send your money just to them. And 
you can't really spread out the risk that way um, because yeah, it is a forex broker, but you know, even even so, you can't. It's uh, you can never tr trust someone one hundred percent. Well, especially if they trade the way they do. I mean, gee, uh, what I'm going to say is. You can use any broker of your own choosing, a licensed, regulated broker. If you're from the U.S., you'll probably need to end up using a, a, a unregulated and um, offshore broker anyway. But at least have one where we have some connections, where you know someone on the inside, or it's, it's got a track record of at least a few years, a solid one for that matter. Um, I've got recommendations, guys, just by, by the way, below. I have um, like connections in that and all the, basically, almost all the brokers that I recommend below the video, there are links for it. But um, anyways, guys, I'm going to continue um, by saying, so this was just a month. I'm going to show you guys a, a longer, you know, like a longer period. One, I'm going to show you guys three MyFX book accounts. Because um, this is what you want to see. Okay, drawdown is 1.33%. But I'll, I will admit, MyFX book just needs to update this guy's, just needs to update on this guy's account. Uh, two point, I think it's 2.75%. This one is actually correct with the drawdown. 2.75%. And it was actually under 1%, guys, until the NFP day. And I showed you the, the chaos. Like, this was crazy. But even on the NFP guys, uh, uh, day, guys, the bot, the Athena bot is what it's called, still made 2.2% for that day. While everyone else's accounts were getting blown and hitting stop losses, um, Athena held its own and still made a good freaking profit. Right? So that was on Wednesday. And then from Wednesday, it was just, again, it just continued to get worse and worse. Look at the carnage here. Right, so it's just been, uh, yeah, it's just been really, really bad. Um, but Athena has been, you know, it hasn't had any, since I joined, Economy is the name of the platform about just over a month ago. We haven't had any losing days. So you'll see here that, um, so just have a look. You'll see all the days. Basically, no losing days since I joined. So on this account, this is a guy on my team. He's using a one of the brokers I recommended, PU Prime. Um, solid broker themselves. But anyway, so he, yeah, it's, uh, his money's in his own broker. Um, doesn't he send it to anyone? It's it's separate, guys. So your money is separate from economy. Economy can't touch it. Um, they just simply provide the products and the tools to trade with, right? Um, that's all. So your money is always safe and sound in your own broker. So even if the economy disappears tomorrow, your money is still safe and sound in your own broker. Guys, so you can use any broker of your choosing. If we don't have one, again, I recommend them. Okay, let me continue, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting off topic or off the, the point here that I'm trying to make. Um, so yeah, this is one month and just solid, solid gain. So only with a 2.75% drawdown when it was the markets were carnage, right? Um and look at the consistency here. Just consistent gains. So I'll show you where you can actually view all the links, guys. I, I have a Telegram group and where you can also join, uh, see the results and stuff. Um, okay, this is another account. Yeah, here's the, the drawdown is more accurate because they both have the same setting of a two. You can actually go lower this from one to six, but we don't recommend going higher than two, you know. So again, guys, in trading, you have to, again, you have to respect the markets. Go for the long term and co just let compounding interest take over. But again, here's, here you have safety. So, so this guy is using, obviously, offshore and unregulated broker, Masari Capital, but they've been around for, just on a side note, they've been around for four years. Um, also very solid. Uh, had no issues with them. And oh, by the way, EA Economy CEO Hassan Mahmoud is a shareholder in Masari. So we have the connections in them, you know, just saying. So that we have that extra layer of protection. Um, okay, so here's his account. He also set it up just at the end of August, right? Right at the end of August. Also solid returns. You can also see the trading history. And what I want to say, guys, is I mentioned the whitelist thing earlier. This is impossible with, with these separate accounts. These are on separate brokers. Um, you know, these guys don't are only using these brokers, they don't own these brokers. So again, you have to own the broker to to potentially get whitelisted on my FX book and to be able to manipulate the results. So these are all so yeah you basically um how can I say these are real real results guys no manipulation here no nonsense here real trading results on these guys again these are individual these are guys that on the that basically set up individual my FX book accounts right these are all individuals, right? Then you have an another different broker. You have PU Prime, Masari, and Vantage. Vantage, by the way, is my number one recommended broker. This guy's using Vantage. 
Um, so yeah, guys, you can see three different brokers, pretty much same results. Um, but you'll notice here, guys, the difference in the results here. So I mentioned the settings, right? One to six. You'll also see the difference in drawdown of this account. The reason why, because this guy was doing boosting. So what that is, is he was adding his, his own trades along with the botch trades, right? So, um, so that's why his drawdown was a little bit more. If he just used the body's drawdown, would have been way less. Like kind of looked like these guys' accounts with the two setting. So this guy, for the most part, had a one setting. But here you can see these results are verified since November 2020. Look at this track record. No losing months. Okay, this month, um, they explained it in the Facebook results group. I'll share that with you as well. Um, so there was like a little glitch in the bot or the VPS. So it stopped trading and he forgot to um, enable it again. And that's why for that almost for the whole month it didn't didn't trade. Um, so basically, no losing months here since 2020. And he used the one setting. So obviously, if he's using a two setting like everyone now, which is again super low risk, guys. The, the lot sizes are tiny. Like on a thousand dollar account, right? For a two setting, the bot would use like a 0 0.02 or a 0 0.03 lot size per trade. Which is, if you know anything about trading, you'll know that's tiny. On a $10,000 account, the bot would use like a 0 0.02, uh, sorry, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3. The lot sizes are absolutely uh, small, so it will never, like the drawdown that we saw with automated capital will never even be close, it will never be close to that. I mean, as you just saw, like even on NFP, the, the highest it was in the two setting was 2.75. So um, here you can see just, just solid gains, guys. I mean, this was with a one setting. That's why you see less returns. I mean, but still pretty solid. I mean, 6.31, 10.39. No, no losing months. Just your money's growing exponentially, right? It's just, you know, no, it's no stress. That's the thing as well, because you also know your money's in your own broker. Um, you know, what I'm going to, what I'm also going to say here is, especially for the big investors, for you guys who have a lot of money, $10,000 plus, even $5,000 plus, or for everyone, basically, you know, it's you want safety and you want no as much, you know, you want to make as good returns as possible with the least stress as possible. But specifically for guys who want to put big money into something, right? This is kind of this consistency, this, um, you know, risk management is what you want to see. So if you got ten thousand dollars or more, um, that, that you want the bot to trade with, you know, put it, put it in your broker, um, or you know, use you can use one of the brokers I recommend if you want. Um, then, you know, just make solid returns without the stress. And obviously, I'm not guaranteeing anything here, guys. You know, I have my disclaimers and everything, but this isn't financial advice. But again, I'm just showing you guys data here and results. No BS. Right? So, you can just see the consistency here. So, basically, in a, a year and 10, 11 months, with mostly with a one, if it was a two setting, guys, it's basically the gain would have been double this, okay? Um, but you can see the gains still 365%. Okay, but you can see with, with obviously with September, um, he, this guy's also using a two. You can see they're about at 40%, 13.46%. Don't know if he's still boosting, probably, um, here, here and there, but yeah. I mean, you won't find this consistency anywhere with, with the safety added into it as well, right? Where it's no scam, this is real Forex trading um, in the safety of your own broker. Um, so doesn't get any more legit than this, guys. Doesn't get any more real than this. Um, and safer from what I've seen. Um, all right. So, yeah, then we have our Facebook results group. Uh, let me just quickly show you this. So, yeah, you can also see, guys, um, we also have trading signals, um, binary, I think binary option signals, plus live trading sessions where you can copy and paste the, the, uh, this, the, the trades of professional, real professional traders, by the way. Um, not some hacks, just saying. So, and you can just see everyone's winning here, guys. So, yeah, the link for that is below this video. Um, if you want to see more results. Uh, okay, this is just what my back office looks like. Um, yeah, guys, um, I think that's that. My Telegram channel is also here. Um, and this was just... Something I mentioned in the NFP guys, so we were we knew it was going to happen and we we were fine, right? So uh, I've personally seen Athena go through multiple FOMC NFP high impact new situations. The strategy and how she handles these situations is remarkable. For some of you, this is the first time you'll experience this, so I wanted to give you all a heads up that will be okay. 
yeah. All right, so you can just see my, the link for that is below below this video, guys, as well. We can see all the results. Um, as well, guys, is my phone number is also below the video, um, along with my links to the brokers that I recommend. Um, yeah, so guys, you feel free to reach out to me anytime. If you're from the USA, guys, and you want the bot, then before you sign up to anything, so this is specifically for US citizens, um, because the, the, the rules and regulations are slightly different in the US concerning forex trading bots, um, just join my, there's, there's also a Telegram link below the video that will say Team USA, join that group and then just follow that step by step, right? And if you get stuck somewhere, guys, then just reach out to me personally on WhatsApp or Telegram. I'm always on there. So yeah, guys, feel free. All right. Uh, <laughs> I think yeah, there was something else I wanted to share, but I, I can't, can't re quite remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just lastly, um, just, it's a classic, you know, if you have to compare automated capital and, you know, this bot that I'm using, it's a classic example of, you know, the, the hare versus the tortoise or the rabbit versus, versus the tortoise, right? Is the rabbit's way ahead in this at the start, right? Um, you know, the rabbit being high risk and, well, just not reckless. I wouldn't even call this, uh, this high risk. I would call that reckless, um, um, wreck being reckless, you know, tiring itself out. And eventually the tortoise comes past and, you know, uh, wins the race. So this is a classic example is, you know, yeah, you're going to keep growing here. Yeah, you, you don't know if you're coming or going. So just a, just a quick, um, comparison there for you guys, right? Again, ultimately I'll end it off by saying, right before you guys say, Oh, well, you know, you're being biased and I'm not just, just saying it's just being straightforward. If you guys are giving my, my opinions, my opinion, guys, right and always sharing trying to share the best the best things with you guys as well along the way so yeah guys that is that thanks for watching don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel as i'm going to mention again all my links are below the video um and have a good one guys cheers